You know, thieves aren't necessarily after your car anymore. No, uh, they want its catalytic converter. Police tonight warning that converter thefts are rising in the Treasure Valley. CBS 2's Angela Kernel joins us in studio live after finding out just how bad this problem is getting and what you can do to protect your car or your motorhome. Yeah, these kinds of thefts have been happening for quite a long time here, but now police say the problem is getting even worse. In Meridian, police track a 550% increase in reports from 2019 to now, and they think there are still more that go unreported. A lot of these crimes are occurring within under two minutes. They can get in and out of there very quickly and most of the time not be detected. It's quick cash for thieves, but getting caught could come with felony charges. These crimes are punishable up to five years in prison. The replacements costing victims thousands of dollars too. A universal style cat anymore. You're gonna start out roughly right around 400 bucks. Some of the Toyota Priuses that have been hit, they're up to about 1,000 to 1,200 bucks. And then whatever damage they do while they're trying to cut that out. Sean Page, the owner of Boise Muffler, says it's been especially bad going into the summer. Right now we're seeing usually about three, four either phone calls or customers coming in per day. This year, his shop easily repairing hundreds of cars from across the valley after catalytic converter thefts. Motorhomes has become a big one. Folks have had their motorhomes in the storage units for all winter. They're getting them out, getting them ready for summertime and firing them up and noticing that they're missing something. He says some thieves now strike in the middle of the day instead of waiting for night. To combat the rising thefts, his workers weld license plate numbers onto new catalytic converters, spray painting them neon orange. <laughs> Talking to some of our recyclers that we've dealt with in the past, they say if there's any kind of trackers or markers on them, they will not accept them. A little bit of a deterrent, so as you know, as they're looking for that easy money, it uh, makes them think twice. Page says you can do the same. To paint and weld, we're hitting 40 bucks uh, versus, you know, possibly th hundreds to thousands. Local police focusing more on stopping and solving these crimes. They're catching them slowly, but they just, you know, it's just hard to do. Meridian police say reporting the thefts right away is key. When they get recovered, it helps us save the victim up to anywhere from $1,200 to $3,400. And Sergeant Parsons expects to keep getting these calls because of the high demand for these metals. Other tips for drivers include parking inside your garage or in a wet lit area or getting security cameras outside your house. Reporting in studio, Angela Kerndall, CBS2 News.